Uh, oh, in the moment, the gap's not cracking in the way we thought they might. Yes, they are. Hugo Hofstetter. Hugo Hofstetter has felt the hammer off the back wheel there of Matthew van der Poel. And van der Poel is almost on the grass. Such he's trying to hug the last bit of Shelton there left as they head their way back towards Oostinkirke. And they're getting closer and closer. Ooh, One of the riders in the I ditch. Think that's van der... It that does van look der... like it looks like the colour of the Dutch national champ. It is. He's gone down yeah. very fast into the ditch. And are the curling quick step going to get the one, two, three? We don't know, but I can tell you the winner is already celebrating. Eve Lampert, the 29 year old from Isachem, is going to win this year's Dreidags at Brugge de Pada. And there he is taking the applause of a modest but very excited crowd in Belgium because a Belgian has won the final one day world tour race of the year. You can see the rider set off in very comfortable conditions for racing, around about 15, 16 degrees the high in uh, northwestern France this morning. But one thing that has had an effect is the attack of uh, Benoit Cosnefoy there. He has attacked hard up the Côte de la Rochere and detached Rudy Moyard for the moment anyway. This is the finishing straight, the famous Avenue de Grandma, one of the most famous sprint finishing straights in world cycling. Just raising the pace a little bit, waiting for Cosnefoy. Cosnefoy tucked in on the wheel and now Pedersen has started. He's opened up full for the line now. Can Cosnefoy come off the wheel? He's come to the left hand side of the rider, but it looks to me just on the line as if Casper Pedersen's got that one. It was very close in the end. I wasn't expecting to see it quite so close. Elisi on the front, Hogard buzzing around the outside there. Twitchy looking for an opportunity to attack at this point. Tim Wellen sits last wheel. Opportunity for a little layback attack potentially, or is he going to wait for the sprint as well? Image again starting to wind things up. Again started to wind things up on the outside, but they're not full crack just yet. Hogard is though. Hogard has gone early, as early as he can. Now this is the lead out then. Elisi on his wheel. Elisi starting to come off Hogard's wheel. Now Elisi leading at this stage. Amy de Ghent coming through on the other side of the road, the slightly bigger man, but it looks like Elisi's just got it. And that cool as a cucumber Italian Diego Elisi who obviously he's worked really hard but never looks like he's trying he's turned his cafe run on a Friday afternoon into yet another victory <laughs>